Hi and welcome to this journal tutorial. Today we'll cover theme installation over FTP. I have downloaded the latest journal version from ThemeForest and have extracted it from the zip file. Inside the package, we see a folder with the latest theme version, currently 3029, but you may see a different version as we keep updating the theme. So we open the theme folder and inside we find two additional folders, one for each supported OpenCar version, 2, 3 and up, and of course OpenCar 3. We'll be working with OpenCart 3 in this video. Installation is the same for both OpenCart versions. We're going to upload these four folders, admin, catalog, image and system to our server. So the next thing we do is open our FTP client. For the purpose of this video, I'll be using Cyberduck, which you can find at cyberduck.io. It's a pretty simple and straightforward program, but you can use any other, such as FileZilla. In your FTP program, Open up a connection and input your credentials to log in. You'll need your server name, username and password. If you're not familiar with FTP, you should consult with your hosting provider as one may already be set up on your server. I'll click cancel as I have already logged in and saved my server as a bookmark. So I'll just double click on it to connect. Ok, so I'm connected to my server now and I'm looking at the root installation of OpenCart where I see the same four folders that I'll be uploading. All we have to do now is grab the local folders and drag them over to the FTP client window. In the transfers dialog box, we choose overwrite. There are actually no OpenCar files overwritten, except the default image placeholders. Journal doesn't replace any original OpenCar code. However, when you update the theme in the future, you will overwrite the existing theme files already on your server with the new ones from the update. We click continue and wait for the files to be uploaded. All theme files have been uploaded, so we can now move over to our store to complete the installation. I'm looking here at the default OpenCart theme, which will soon be replaced with the Journal 3 demo. We access the admin panel and we log in. We proceed to extensions, modifications and click on the blue refresh button from the top right corner. We then go to extensions, extensions and choose themes from the choose the extension type selector. We see journal theme, so we click install. We then continue to System, Settings and click Edit on the current store. On the General tab, we scroll down a bit and finally choose Journal Theme from the Theme Selector. We click Save and at this point Journal is fully installed. If we now visit the storefront, we see a blank screen because no content has been created with a theme. So what we need to do now is import some demo content. If we click on this link, it will take us to a documentation page where we can learn how to import the demo. So let's follow these steps. We'll import demo 1, which I already have open in a tab. We need to access the demo's admin page, so just type admin in the address bar to access the back end. The same concept applies to any other demo. Simply access the admin panel of your desired demo and follow the same steps. For username and password, we use demo and demo. We log in and then navigate to journal, system, import, export where we find several export options which are covered in more detail in our documentation. For now I'll include the blog and leave off the rest. Input your ThemeForest username and purchase code in the appropriate fields and click on the export button. A database file containing demo data will be downloaded. We now go back to our store's admin panel and access the same journal, system, import, export page. We click on the import button and choose the exported file. When we see the success notification, we can revisit our storefront, refresh the page and we should have the same structure as in the original demo, with the exception of demo products and categories which have not been included in the export. If you do want to include product and category structure as seen in the demo, you need to turn on the catalog data option in the demo export admin page. Make sure to watch the dedicated demo import export video where we go into more details about the export options. Thanks for watching and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.